Hello and welcome back, excitement lovers. This is our countdown to our city's top 10 near misses. I'm your host, Chet Propulsion. Total disaster is just a heartbeat away. So let's get started with the countdown. Coming in at number 10, this criminal almost gets trashed by a trash truck. An officer Duke Detain is on the scene to give garbage collector Shirley Keeper a little more work. Time for number nine. Look out for that runaway rocket. I don't know how you get to the moon, but I'm pretty sure that's not the way. Heads up, Cubby, you're gonna make headlines. Back to the street for number eight. A simple prisoner transport to the precinct house becomes a lot more complicated when this truck gets in the way. But Duke Detain knows how to roll with the thrills and pulls off a perfect parking job. I wish I could do that. Duke Detain back for number seven, and he's got to fly if he's gonna catch his train. Oh, looks like the train isn't gonna miss him. Whoa, wow, that was close. Now it's time for number six, the nearest miss you'll ever saw. <laughs> get it, saw? Well, well, don't worry. The firefighters didn't get it either. Thank goodness. Are you fired up for number five? Well, this fire truck is. It plays it cool and barely misses, causing a fire of its own. Nothing stands in the way for Duke Detain at number four, not even a fruit and vegetable stand. We're getting close to the top of our countdown with the greatest near misses with number three. Watch how this wrecking ball takes out the wall of a skyscraper. Look out! Then it nearly wipes out the man in the office behind it. <laughs> wow, that's the definition of a close call. It's getting a little hot in the boiler room for helpful handyman Harl Hubs at number two. The temperature is rising and the pressure is high. Things are gonna fall apart at any moment. And indeed they do. Only a burst of handyman speed and some help from his robot pal saves Harl from a fiery flattening. No sweat. Topping our countdown of the greatest near misses, there's almost a disaster at the very top of the city. What happens when skyscrapers want to get a little more down to earth? Top Hat Tom finds out the hard way. Or does he? Let's tip our hats to the lucky local. He's on the scene when the city's most famous building makes its debut, the City Arch. I'm Chet Propulsion and <laughs> I need a nap. See you next time.